I apply my self tanner. In this, I'm going to show you the products that I love, how I apply it, and some helpful tips that I have. Before I get into this, I just want to quickly mention that I plan to have a giveaway at 100 subscribers. There will be three winners, and I think that I'm going to have the prize be either a gift card to Sephora or Ulta. If you guys have any other ideas or some suggestions for me as a prize, please leave it in the comment below because I truly appreciate all of your support and I want to give you a gift that you guys actually want. So just um, throw some ideas out there, let me know what you guys think, and let me talk about some self tanning products before I show you the application process. The first self tanning product that I own is Asturgas Natural Glow Firming from Medium to Tan Skin Tones. And I mentioned this in my July favorites video that I personally do not like this self tanner. Um, it smells really poor, bad in my opinion, um, and I don't really like how it's like a good gradual thing. Um, I don't really see results right away and I'm kind of an impatient person. So when I apply my self tanner, I want it to show up right away. And this, um, I don't like at all. I don't really recommend this product, but I know a lot of people do like it. So maybe it's just me, it's my personal taste, but um, I don't really use this product. The next product that I own is this Mary Kay Subtle Tanning Lotion. Um, this is a pretty good product. I definitely would recommend this. Uh, I just have ran out of it and I haven't gotten a new one, but um, this is a pretty good product. I think it's about $16, so it is a little bit pricier than my favorite product that I'm about to show you. But um, this is 4 ounces and the Jergens Natural Glow is 7.4 ounces. So it is a lot less product than something like the Jergens, but I do like this more because the scent and the color shows up right away. So. These are two products that are okay, but I'm about to show you my favorite one. My favorite self tanning product that I own is this Banana Boat Summer Color Self Tanning Mist in Airbrush Color fr Fruit Citrus. This smells amazing. It is so easy to apply. You see the results right away, and it's extremely, extremely cheap. This is on, I got this at Ulta for $10. I had one of those like 20% off coupons that I used, so it was $8. They also have, um, like coupons that come in the mail if you're a part of their rewards program so I would definitely recommend signing up for the Ulta program. It points for every dollar that you spend and then at the end of a the cycle they um, send you a, a free gift that you're allowed to choose from so uh, I definitely like the Ulta program that they have and this is great so this is my favorite self tanning product this is what the bottle looks like um, it's in a can and I'm going to show you how I apply this to my skin. Now always before I apply a self tanner I use an exfoliator this is from the body shop and it's in cocoa coconut. It looks like this. I use this while I was in the shower all over my body to get off all the dead skin and to have a fresh, clean, smooth skin for me to apply my self tanner. If you have dead skin on your body, the self tanner likes to, to stick to the dead skin and it looks kind of patchy and blotchy. So I just took a shower, I used an exfoliant, I have not put any body products on, any lotions, I have minimal makeup on. Um, or I don't have any foundation on, I just have some eyeshadow on for the sake of this video. But this is my bare skin, my bare chest, my bare arms, no products are on me. Um, you want to apply this to clean, fresh skin. And if you are going to uh, put it on your legs, you'll definitely want to shave before, again, so you can get all the dead skin off. I highly recommend the shaving cream, the EOS Evolution of Smooth Shave Cream, Paraben Free with Natural Aloe and Shea Butter. So make sure you shave your legs and exfoliate your skin before you apply any self tanner. Um, I usually do this right when I get out of the shower. My hair is usually in a towel, and I just apply this all over to my bare skin. Um, I use the Sally, where'd it go? The Sally Hanson Airbrush Legs for my legs, which I'm not going to show you that today. I can do a video on this if you'd like, but um, today I'm just going to show you how I apply self tanner to my chest and my face. So let's go ahead and I'll show you how I apply my favorite self tanner. All right, now before I use the self tanner, I make sure it's really shaken up well. After it's shook up, I first start on my arms. I spray it on my arms, on the back of my arms, and I rub it in with my hands. I use it sparingly over my elbows and right by my wrist. After this is on, I just simply rub it in with my hand. After I have this on one arm, I like to just wipe off my hand with a paper towel. These are Christmas trees on them. So wipe my hand off with a paper towel and now do my chest. I like to have my neck up so I can get my neck, my collarbones, and my chest area and not have it be any streakiness. After this is on, I just rub it in all the way up to my neck.
my both my hands, and then do my other arm. Again, you shake the product, you simply spray it on your arm. Back of your arm, your shoulders, let it sit there for a second, and then rub it in. You can immediately see results right here in my arms, on my chest, and on my other arm. Now, this is really like some body spray, but I also use this on my face. What I do is I spray it into my hand like this, rub them together, and then just apply it all over my face. Blend it down into my neck, by my hairline. You want to be careful around the eyebrows because the product likes to stay around the eyebrows a lot. into my neck, my chest, and then I wash my hands. And then I will show you what I do after this. All right, after I apply my self-tanner, I then like to use a bronzing product. For my body, I use this Physicians Formula Happy Booster Bronzer in just bronzer. I think that they have like some light shades and some darker shades. And for my face, I enjoy, of course, the NARS Laguna Bronzer. And I've used a lot of this stuff. So I simply take a big fluffy brush do my face first. Rub it in my bronzer and then just do the E3 down my face. Blend it down into my neck. Now for this happy boosting bronzer, I simply put my brush in and then just use it all over my chest and arms. I know that this is supposed to be for your face but it works fine on my arms too. All right, now that I applied my bronzer and my powder, I now like to use a moisturizer. This is just from the Bath and Body Works Butterfly Flower, but you can use any lotion that you want. I use this for two reasons. One, to kind of set the tanner, and another reason to just make it smell good. All right, again, that's just what I do for my chest and my face. Another helpful tip to really enhance your tan is to wear a bright color nail polish like the one I'm wearing right now. This is Pool Party by China Glaze, and it really brings out your skin tone and enhances your color a lot. Um, I highly recommend any type of pink nail polish when you really want to be glowy and that bronze goddess. I forgot to mention this. My final step in applying self tanner is to spray some perfume on me. This is my favorite perfume, Miss Dior Sherry. All right, now it's as easy as that. That's how I apply my self tanner. If you guys have any questions or any other tips that you have for applying your self tanner, let me know. Remember that there will be a giveaway at 100 subscribers, so stay tuned for that. Thank you very much for checking out my channel. Stay tuned for more videos, and I'll talk to you guys later.